Subaru's feed. Today we're going to be talking about a super crucial mod that is super important to every Subaru and WRX STI model. Now, of course, I am talking about the pit stop mount. Now, the pit stop is a very crucial and important mod. I think it's one that gets overlooked super easily, but what it does is at the top of the transmission and connects to the back of the firewall. Now, it's a super flimsy one that comes stock with every manual STI model. The stock ones are super flimsy, super slim, which allows for a lot of torque, whereas many companies such as Cobb make a very thick, dense, heavy metal one that will reduce flexion and allows for cleaner and crisper shifts. We're gonna get more into it once we get the stock one out. Installation is very simple. All you do is take off the intercooler and the pit shop is pretty much presented. It's pretty much right there. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna get off the intercooler and then we're gonna go more into depth on the differences between these two. For starters, getting the intercooler off, super simple. All it is is two 10 mils and then three screws to unhook the fuel rails and then the intercooler should come right off. Forgot to mention there was one other bolt to take out. This one right here connecting to the brace. But once that's off, everything should come out just fine. Also, another one was to loosen the clamp connecting to the turbo. So once all that's done, the intercooler should come off quite easy. Here it is, nice and simple. No oil in there, which is great. So here's what we're gonna be replacing. This is the stock pitch stop. As you can see, it's plastic, it's not very thick, it looks pretty thin, pretty flexible. So we're gonna get that out, then we're gonna compare it to the cob one and we'll see the major differences. Now that the pitch stop is out, we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, the stock one from the car is plastic, it's thin, you know, it looks like with minimal torque. It's probably gonna flex quite a bit. But when you move over to the Cobb one, it's metal, much thicker, much denser. Uh, it's gonna be able to put up with a lot more torque. With this thing in, hopefully we should feel quite a bit of a difference. So we're gonna go ahead and put the Cobb one in and then we're gonna get some videos, feel a comparison. Hopefully it feels good. Let's also real quick, let's not forget how good the tow may looks. It's a little dirty right now. There's a lot of snow coming through. We'll get a car wash soon. Okay, back to the pit stop. Wow. <laughs> This has been a complete mission, holy shit. Now, I know the intercooler is always a hard part. It's always hard to do. It's super difficult for some reason to get that hose right there onto the turbo with this part of the intercooler onto the throttle body. But for some reason, this one was just a pain in the ass. Somehow it just slipped on. I really don't know how I even got it on in the first place. It kind of just slipped on after maybe an hour and a half of trying. The point is, is we got it on. We have everything tightened up. Uh, my hands are filthy. We're gonna go for a drive. We're gonna see how stiff everything feels. Hopefully everything feels a lot better. Let's go for a drive and see how it feels. She's getting warm. Started up just fine. Out of this sick mod, got some new bracelets. Totally gangster. We're gonna get on the road, see how it feels. What I have noticed so far is that there definitely is a difference. Shifts just seem a little bit more crisp. They seem a little bit more notchy. Downshifts feel much, much, much better. Before, it almost seemed like the car didn't want to downshift into a gear, but now it feels so much better. I wasn't sure how much of a difference it was gonna make. I actually had a pit stop mount in my O2, my Bug Eye, and it made quite a bit of a difference. But with the six speed, I wasn't too sure what it was gonna feel like. But I gotta admit, it feels pretty damn good. So I've been driving with the new pit stop mount for about a day now. Um, I gotta say, there definitely is a difference. It's very slight. It's something that I think if somebody just hopped in uh, normally, they wouldn't really notice a, that much of a difference. But when driving this car every single day and driving your car every single day, I think you definitely will notice a difference. It was a pretty simple install. I think the hardest part was just getting the intercooler back on, which I do recommend doing a pit stop. It's pretty simple to do. I think there is enough of a difference to make it worth it. Uh, it does make the car just that much more enjoyable. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more SCI content I'll be coming out with soon. I'll be trying to pump out as many videos as possible this week. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.